Hello everyone, today I'm showing you a way of creating a point cloud and uh, combining it to, to a mesh and as well as putting some, like in this way, like just simple boxes on it. So the way we're doing is this, we just, well, we first gonna remove this here. We're going to create a box, um, but with central box. And we're going to create a certain number of letters just to control a little better. Here and there and we're gonna populate it with 3D. And it will be populated and we will also use a number slider to populate to a certain amount. And um, the next thing I'm gonna do is also, uh, we're going to, what was this first side, this, and we're going to use under um, mesh, triangulation, and Delanoi mesh. What it basically does, it takes the points and it puts it into um, a mesh that makes sense, connects all the each points to together. And um, what we're gonna do is we don't want to maybe have the extreme, so we're gonna like smooth it a little bit out to be a little less extreme, and as well do a smooth m mesh. It is under um, mesh. A util smooth mesh and we just put it in here then we can also define how, how strong we want to have it basically so yeah now we have a mesh and the next thing we're gonna do is we also put some um, boxes on it very easily and we the base of the boxes will be the points that we had in the beginning and we might want to like, change the amount a little bit in order for it to be a little more smooth or like a bit smaller so yeah, now here we have a box. It's obviously you can as well rotate them um, in a serious way. So, and maybe we can also sort the points in order for them to be sorted correctly. Well, you will show you what I mean by that. First, let's put them in here and let's um, we need to put the degrees here and as well as the angle needs to be fit as well and the plane needs to be the points that we use from here. So as you see, each of the boxes will move individually, but they kind of move randomly. So the thing we're gonna do, we use um, the sorted points in this case and in this case. And now we have like a more like uniform movement uh, that we wanna achieve. Maybe we can even put the numbers a bit higher. And again, if you want to like, change the the mess, uh, the mesh um, craziness, we can do it like here. And um, in order to, uh, maybe we can also put the points a little more bigger in the z direction, so you have like some some tower space going on here as well, all movable. So yeah, the next thing you do, you can just um, like maybe group them and then also bake them. And so there it is here and this one over here. And if you're gonna move it here, and maybe you can also um, use the view render obviously and apply some very simple, I don't know, maybe some kind of concrete and you can apply it to the um, things here. And we're gonna use as well under global illumination, ambient inclusion, stuff like this. And now we just try to render it and see how it looks. So yeah, seems to work more obviously like the textures are a little bit uh, too big and maybe, maybe not really how it should be. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's a very simple way of creating very quick, um, randomly generated like cloud city almost. You can obviously be more in detail to it or put uh, certain textures to it that make it, um, it more believable in a way. But to have like a quick demonstration of um, a random 
uh, terrain that can be used. I think that's a quite a very useful tool. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and see you in, uh, and if you want to let me know you can if you have any questions about any scripts that you want to do or some ideas that you want to have like write them down in the comments I will gladly a uh, answer them or if you come up with a good idea I can also obviously make a script out of it um, it's always nice to help people so they would uh, really appreciate that so enjoy your day and um, yeah just waiting for this to render to finish yeah, if you have some ideas I would like like it would be really cool to just like come up with uh, some renderings um, or some ideas of other people and help them to parameterize them because it's always interesting to have a view of someone else and it's sometimes easier to get someone else's idea and to just like do something with it and help them as well in the same part. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.